Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k in Crystal Prophecy. This time it is going to be a panic room mission against some tainted rebel guard. The failed extraction attempt of an Imperial Administratum official involved the um, involved in we don't know has left multiple auto assets dead. De uh, deploy as an emergency measure flight uh, fight your way um, to the survivors and lead them to the exfiltration zone. Extract survivors for debriefing. Tactical Neurospheric Network online. Target has been barricaded behind a security door to avoid immediate extermination by hostiles. The door will be breached within a few Terran minutes. Violent intervention required to retrieve the subject alive. We will try, we will of course try to get there in time and save the target, but I have to say the current targets in front of us are not that easy to beat. That is the very, very bad part, but we will quickly bring them to justice. But what you already have seen in the last episode, which was of course a little bit unlucky, that the enemies were actually having the heavy armor tech what you might not know there the heavy armor thing is absolutely insane it means that the damage reduction is so high on the enemies is even i want to say especially but i mean even even if you give that tech to normal enemies and i'm talking about for example normal guardsmen like this rebel guardsmen they become nearly unkillable that is the very very insane part and we are now a little bit in a world of hurt the only good part is that we have nearly taken down the old guard the bodyguards i'm of course mean with that and that means we can then after that focus on the um, sorcerer at hand. It is a sorcerer champion, which of course is not very good for our health there. If we could focus on one, that would might help out. The weird part, as you have seen there, is he has 80,000 or over 80,000 HP, which is quite insane. Okay, the summoned one at least. The other guy has just 30,000. Maybe I should focus on the other one, but that is always what I can. What I say for me, the um, the not so great part um, um, of this game is that you can't direct the damage. That you can't um, that you can't take your constructs and say target this target. Um, that might help out the most actually. Of course, that is the little bad part. As you can see, the target is theoretically at the end of the map. Um, I do hope, guys, that we are going to make it. Um, then, if not, we have again, on the one hand, another unsuccessful mission. On the other hand, um, you see how long it actually takes to take this one villain down. Okay, I of course need to resummon some guys and that is absolutely insane now okay with constructs it is a little bit faster but there's just one guy um we still might reach the target in time we might reach the target in time but if we are going to face another one of these guys i can tell you we are probably not going to make it not because we don't make it um in um, killing the enemy but um we won't make it in um time because it just takes too long to take them actually down okay good lord okay then we have another one or do we okay we still have two one so I guys am right now not very Not very really positive that we are actually going to be on time. These three guys here are just holding us up too, too long. I can sadly already say that. Still 
So two unsuccessful missions in a row, but well held. That sometimes just happens. Uh, unless, of course, we are lucky and the timer there is a little bit higher, or we. This is sometimes in this game what I don't really understand. Sometimes the missions are quite different, but this is actually okay. Nice explosion. Sometimes the missions are very, very different, although they feel like they are the same mission. So we might be lucky, but I can already tell you that is probably we are not going to make it in time. I think we lost too much time in this wonderful last battle right here. Okay, this guy down. Let's then take down to the other guys. Nice, this one is down as well. Oh my god, how quickly our constructs there just died. Very, very not so cool after all. A lot of Valgrins that is um, quite hard to actually deal with since they are doing a lot of damage. Okay, nice. They are down. So maybe we are lucky and uh, there's no timer on this map. Because I think it would now nearly be already at the end. The bad part is that you can, if there is no timer, guys, I can tell you, this episode is going to take a tensy little bit longer than the normal 10 to 13, 14 minutes episodes that I just can tell you. It at least for me feels like um, on the other missions I always had a very nifty, very heavy time limit, which um, then actually would already be the end of this mission. That is quite good that we have right now not reached at that point. That is very, very good after all. Come on, bring the Enforcer down. Thank you. And that is the only positive part, the Rebel Sergeant, as you can see, is not as heavily armored as the Sorcerer, so he is nicely going down. The thing is, I would like to just walk through and just go to the target, help it out, but I fear if we would do that, um, so many enemies would actually follow us that that means we would be then directly being taken down in the end and once we are um, dead the um, all the enemies would actually focus on the target target to extract and that would mean a little bit um, of trouble for it and not letting it survive for too too long Okay, so this uh, fight was a little quicker. That is quite nice. Okay, the specialist with the... I think that was a melter weapon. is down. That is always good. We have in this room no Balgrins. At least I right now don't see any. That is good, which means we can fight through this room a little quicker than usual. No champions, just rebel veterans that is quite nice and i have the little okay there are balgrins i did lie to you so i have the wonderful little feeling that we don't have a time limit here for a change and i hope we don't reach the time limit once we are before the door the enemy tries to break Okay, he is down. 
just two more elements in this room that is nice as well and that was actually one of the last rooms we need to clear not only a couple of floors now coming up so i'm again in good hope um but actually in the beginning i was very very not thinking we are going to make it but of course what can happen that we die in a little freak accident but that would not be um, bad but it of course could be happen that we just reach the last room and then the timer is up that of course can happen and again i completely walked through them scouts very very i am in this session are very very successful in going through traps So we are at least um, at the desired room. I am uh, uh, surprised. No time limit so far. Okay, good. So we made it. I am surprised. I did not expect that. And we, so to say, have one more floor and one more big room in front of us. With a bit of luck, we are not going to face a hell boot or something. But we are... Okay. The next longer fight is actually going to come up and I hope it is going well. As long as the Psycho is not going to close combat, I think everything is going to be safe. So it is at least down to under 80,000 80, HP. That is very, very good. Okay, big guy is back, that is quite nice, and the one good part is that we have a couple of guardsmen with us, which of course deal a tinsy little bit of damage and are actually um, helping out that the cycle is not receiving too, too much of damage. What we need to be careful is um, not going to run through the explosion the sorcerer champion here is going to leave we are not directly going through that come on 10,000 HP remaining our weapon is nearly overheated so I could actually why don't I just switch the weapon Okay, this guy is down. And of course, as predicted, he is um, actually leaving a lot of hurt there to our constructs. But then I think we are, so to say, safe and through this wonderful mission. Okay, not going to go... Oh, no. Okay, good. Okay, I thought we were in trouble here. Let's see. That should be the last enemy actually available. Or the last enemy which costs time. Which is the big... what? Which is a big deal. Okay, this guy down. That is exactly what we needed nice okay then come on psyker and good we are all main 
objectives are met. The asset is safe. Mission complete. Tactical Merrick Network has been taken offline. And that, guys, leads us right now to the end of this episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see ya in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.